as auto consumers in India, we are now buying bigger, more premium cars. But there also, we want the most value for money. The most bang for our buck. The hectare's price has dropped and that makes it one of the most value for money cars. So if you're looking for a car that offers you the most amount of features, even in the lower variants, then the Hector is a great choice. Well, don't get me wrong, its primary rivals, the Harrier and the XUV700 are also great cars. But when it comes to value for money, the Hector rules. Here is why. The Hector's price now starts only at 13.99 lakh rupees. That's fabulous value, knowing that the Hector is the longest, tallest and essentially the biggest car in its class. What that means is that you get the best in class knee room and headroom in Hector. It also offers the biggest boot in the segment, a massive 587 litres, which is 142 litres larger than the Harrier. Not just that, it gets 60-40 spit seats and seat recline as standard on all variants to allow for maximum comfort and space. Second row armrest and driver's armrest with storage is also standard. It also gets height adjustable seat belts and adjustable headrest for all passengers. Big room and comfort inside a car definitely means tremendous value as it offers the most roomy and practical interior in its class. It's also significantly bigger than the Creta and Seltos and has a more daunting road presence as compared to the Koreans. Also, you can always go with the Hector Plus if you want the extra two seats, which again is fantastic value. Well, size apart, the big, bold, chrome-studded grille of the MG Hector endows it with great street presence and a premium look. Not just that, even in the base shine variant, the diesel Hector gets projector LED lamps, cornering LED fog lamps, LED DRLs, LED tail lamps, front parking sensors and a rear view camera. But here is the clincher. It gets the most in-demand feature, the sunroof, even in the base variant. So basically, all the variants of the Hector get a sunroof. For comparison's sake, you'll get sunroof on the Harrier and XUV700 by paying 2.2 lakh and 1.1 lakh rupees extra respectively. And that's not all. The Hector's smart variant, which is only 1 lakh more expensive, gets you a panoramic sunroof. Now that's fantastic value. In fact, I was amazed to see the features on the base shine variant of the Hector diesel. Here is a complete list of the features on the base variant, followed by the generous feature set on the higher variants. Now, the interior of the MG Hector also has some really nice features like this 14-inch portrait touchscreen which is the largest in its class. The 8-speaker Infinity audio system with subwoofer and amplifier is also fantastic. Let's have a look at some of the other highlights of this cabin. It gets wireless charger, 6-way powered driver's seat along with a 4-way powered passenger seat, 8-color ambient lighting, 360-degree camera, voice commands for a lot of car functions. Open the sunroof. Front seats which are ventilated, powered tailgate with proximity sensor, auto headlamp and wipers, air purifier, tilt and telescopic steering, a fully digital color instrument console, all one touch windows, 18 inch alloys and intelligent turn indicators which activate with steering direction. In terms of safety, it gets 6 airbags, traction control, electronic stability control, hill hold, all four discs, tire pressure monitoring system, engine immobilizer, auto car lock unlock when you walk away and approach the car and a full suite of ADAS level 2 features on the petrol automatic version which is the Savvy Pro variant. Now the another great thing about the Hector is that the ingress and egress in this car is just perfect unlike the Harrier which is a little too tall for the elderly and for the shorter people. The seat cushioning is also perfect for the driver as well as all passengers even for long distance travel. Another great thing is that you don't have any hump here which allows for maximum space, legroom and comfort for all three passengers. Well, we are driving the diesel version of the Hector and this is a familiar unit. 2 litre turbo diesel with 170 PS of power and 350 Newton meters of torque. Now, this engine has been around and not just is it one of the most powerful in its class, it also offers fantastic fuel efficiency. So while you're driving in the city, you'll get 11 to 13 kmpl depending on how the traffic is and how you're driving. And on the highway, this can deliver 15 to 18 kmpl depending again what kind of highway you are driving on and at what speeds. So it's not just very powerful but also 
very very fuel efficient and all of us know that diesel engines are known for their fuel efficiency now this one does not come with an automatic but for the ones amongst us myself included who like to row their gears this is quite an experience and the 6 speed manual transmission unit here is a joy to operate it has short throws and it's quite slick it doesn't really feel like you are driving such a big car and it's quite easy to operate within the city as well the engine by itself also has a lot of tractability it can start moving around from 1000 rpm and not just that the cabin has also been very well insulated by mg so if you're driving it within the city or on the highway it gives you a very nice and pleasant feeling and the character of the engine is such that it does not essentially make you miss an automatic now another great thing about the 2 liter diesel on the mg hector is that it's really quick it can do it 0 to 100 in only 11.5 seconds which is reasonably quicker than both the harrier and the korean prince of the seltos and the creta and why am i telling you all of that is because the hector with its 2 liter diesel is not just very punchy and fun to drive but it also is very fuel efficient and with its fantastic power and torque can really can haul its big size with effortless ease So if you're someone who's looking for a manual car which is powerful, reasonably fun to drive, effortless and fuel efficient, the MG Hector offers a really great option which covers all the bases. Now while we do not recommend you try that, but if you really wished to, this car has the power and torque to touch almost 200 kilometers per hour on the speedo and it is a very very swift traveler. So if you're traveling long distances, this car can be your trusty companion finally the suspension on this car has also been tuned on the softer side so whether you're driving in the city at slow speeds or at highway on cruising speeds if you're traveling with your family you can really make sure that the entire family is traveling in comfort and the fact that the back seats are some of the most comfortable and spacious will mean that when you're traveling with your family for a long holiday everybody in the back seat will be happy price and features apart the after sale service and customer experience of mg motor has been fantastic and you can ask one of your friends who has owned an mg car to confirm that the resale value of mg cars and their warranty is also amazing so you can confirm that as well so all in all if you're looking for a value for money car the hector really makes a strong point for itself and if you want a car that has a low running cost then you can go with the diesel variant that's this one and i really hope that i was able to let you know as to why the mg hector offers you fantastic value for money if you like this video hit that like button share this video with a friend subscribe to motoroids and until next time this is your friend amit changani signing off rev hard rev free and drive safe